Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Child of God, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I trust you all had a wonderful night rest. To God be the glory. We all made it to this last week in the month of November. And I know that this God who brought us to this last week of the month of November, I know that that same God is going to cause every one of us to also see the end of the year 2022. In the now, wow, 2022 is already in my mind. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Can we please go ahead this morning and begin to appreciate our Father for the gift of life, appreciate Him for what He has done for you and your family all throughout this um, this past weeks, this past month, all He has been doing in your family, all He has been doing in your marriage from the day one of your conception to this present time. God has been super faithful. God has been awesome. God has been glorious. If he has not been the Lord who has been by our side, our enemies would have destroyed us. But the Lord never allowed uh, them to prevail at all. Uh, even when they gathered, uh, the Spirit of the Lord raised a standard against them, uh, and they were utterly scattered. Uh, beloved, appreciate your Father for his safety, for his provision, for his care upon you and your family, and go ahead this morning and begin to ask your Father for mercy in case there is a sin uh, traceable to your family, in case there is a sin traceable to your husband in case there is a sin traceable to your household uh, that is going to stand as a barrier to your receiving answers uh, at this altar of prayer this morning mm. Go ahead right now and begin to ask your father for mercy. Ask your father for mercy. Ask your father for mercy. Say, Lord, let your mercy speak. Hey, for me and my family this morning, let our coming to your presence never be in vain. But let my coming to your presence, our father, let my seeking you today, Lord, bring me blessings, bring me increase, bring me prosperity, bring me advancement on every side. Lord, do your thing today. The Lord and glorify yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Amen. 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 Please, can you go ahead this morning and begin to welcome your Father, welcome the Prince of Peace, welcome the Lord of Lords into today's meeting, into this brand new week. Beloved, in case you don't know, this is a brand new week altogether. Let's welcome our Father, let's welcome our Maker, let's welcome the King of Glory, let's welcome the I am that I am, the Maker of the universe, the God that made it possible for us to see this week. Lord, we welcome your Jesus. Our senior advocate, we welcome you. Our Holy Spirit, we welcome you. The angels of the living God, amen. To minister to us, the heads of salvation, we welcome you all into this brand new week. Lord, come and reign supremely. Jesus, take your place. Holy Spirit, do your thing. Angels of God, manifest yourselves. Hey, in all angles of our life this week, do it, Lord, and receive the glory. Be thou exalted because we know you are here with us this day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, the Lord said that this week shall be our week of harvest round about. Hmm. It shall be our week of harvest. Harvest of blessings, harvest of increase, harvest of prosperity. So I want to this week to run with this mindset, run with the mindset of going out there to begin to harvest a result in your business. Since January, we have been praying, we have been declaring wars upon our families, upon our marriages, upon our children's life, upon our husband's life. Uh, uh, and uh, one thing you need to know is that God is not deaf. God is not deaf. All our prayers, the Lord has been hearing them. And he said, I shall announce to every one of you that this week there shall be a pour, there shall be a release of harvest like never before. And all you need to do is to get ready your vessels. Get ready your business vessels. Get ready your career vessels. 
get ready uh, 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 your instrument or your sickle of harvest because there will be a rain of supernatural release of blessing this week like never before. I don't know what you have been experiencing from January to now. But the Lord is saying, Hear me, beloved, in case the canker worm, the pama worm, the hookah worm has eaten up what you have been gathering all this year. The God of restoration is in a midst this day. The God of restoration is in a midst this day. The God of restoration is in a midst this new week to bring about total restoration and he said be lord get ready because i hear the abundance of rain be lord get ready because there shall be an up a pour of financial blessings uh, that shall be a release of harvest in all angles of life. Uh, so you need to actually get yourself ready for this season. Uh, and the Lord is, somebody might be asking, I say, Mama, what do I need to get ready? Mm. Prepare your mind. Prepare your mind. Don't just go into this week without uh, having this mindset of going into harvest to result. Don't go into this week with the mindset of the, a disappointed folks. Don't go into this week with the mindset of um of a failure of a failure. No, maybe yesterday or last week your plan, what you wrote down in your planner, you did not achieve anyone. No. This week, the Lord wants to walk with you. And I hope you have not forgotten that God said that we are now in a season of a seeding expectation. So go with the mindset of a harvester. Go with the mindset of a man, of a woman that is going there to generate result, to harvest result. As you are going for that interview, go with the mindset that you are the one to get that job. As you are going for that business, don't go with the mindset of, oh, I've been going there, you know, I've been going to that business place. There is no customer, customer, no day. Don't go with that kind of mindset. Go with the mindset, uh, uh, a mindset that says uh, that even when others are saying there is a casting down, I am Marka Sandra Linus, uh, will arise and say there is a lifting up for me. When others are lacking customers, I will not lack customers. I will go in and as I get to that my business place, customers are rushing me. Customers are invading my shop. Customers are buying and they are paying. Go with this mindset this week. The harvest is plenty. But Jesus is saying, but the laborers are few. So when you are going into this week, Go with the mindset to go and labor in your harvest field. In your harvest field. You have sown so much. As a farmer, when you finish sowing, if you don't go back to your farm to harvest what you have sown, you will end up in uh, you end up um, in hunger. You will end up begging. You will end up complaining. If care is not taken, death will take your life. But this is not the plan of God for you and I. So when you're going into the field this week, go with the mindset of a harvester. Go with the mindset of a harvester. That's what God is saying. He said the harvest is plenty. The harvest is ripe. But the laborers, the laborers are few. Can God find you as one of those laborers? One of those people that are ready to lambano testimony. One of those people that yes, are ready that to go in there and bring forth their harvest. Beloved, miracles, blessings doesn't manifest until harvest, the harvest time comes. Ask a farmer. When a farmer begins to farm, he might even go hungry to farm. But the greatest there is a season of joy of every farmer is the season of harvest. That is when we will know what you have actually sown. Hallelujah. So below, I need you to go with the mindset of a harvester. Go with the mindset of a harvester into this brand new week. And you will get result. Hallelujah. Go with the mindset of a harvester. Jesus is saying the harvest is right. The harvest is plenty. Don't go with the mindset of a crumb, of going there to harvest crumbs. No. You know that woman that Jesus encountered in one of his meetings? The Bible said that the woman asked him, he said, even if, 
even if though I am not a daughter, even if I am not a son of Abraham, he said, but we are, uh, even a dog is allowed to eat from the crumbs that fell out from the table of the king. Beloved, God is not allowed, is not saying, I have made available crumbs for you to go and harvest. No. He said, go in there and begin to harvest resort. Not as a crumb. Go in there with the mindset of harvesting plenty resort. Don't go in there with the mindset of a beggar. A mindset of, 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 of a man or a woman that is already defeated, that is that is that is looking haggard and, and beggarly. No. Go in there with the mindset of a harvester. And God is saying, when you do this, you will be a part of those that will harvest plenty, plenty, plenty result in the name of Jesus. And the Bible was speaking. He said, in all labor there is profit. So if you have actually labored from January till now, God is saying, since you have labored, get ready because I am a rewarder of diligent seekers. This week, I want to reward you for your labor. This week, I have opened my heavens to rain on you your daily loads of benefits. So go in with the mindset of a harvester. And the Lord said, I should also warn you that in this season of harvest, attacks may arise. The Bible is speaking in, uh, in Genesis chapter 26. Let's take a look at that scripture before we go into the prayer section. Genesis 26, verses 12. The Bible said that Isaac sowed in the land. He sowed in the land. Verses 12 said. Genesis 26, 12. Sorry. 26, 12. He said, Hallelujah. He said in verses 12. Then Isaac sowed in that land. Have you sown? Have you made some spiritual investment? Have you made some physical investment? Have you made some career investment? The Bible said that Isaac sowed in the land. He sowed in the land. Isaac, he was a farmer. He sowed in the land in the season of sowing. And when he came to the season of harvest, See what God said. He said, and he received the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. He received the same year a hundredfold. What is God trying to say? He's trying to let you know that if actually you have sown this week of harvest, get ready to receive your hundredfold harvest. Your hundredfold harvest. A complete package. A complete package of blessing. That's what God is saying. And he's also trying to tell us, hey, when this blessing starts coming, when you begin to harvest, get ready for attacks. Attacks will come. But the only thing that will actually sustain you, the only thing that will actually cause your enemies not to assess you, is your altar. Is the sacrifice at your order. If you read further that scripture in verses 20, in verses uh, that chapter 23, verses 13, uh, he said, The man was great and went forward and grew until he became great, for he had possession of flocks and possession of heat, and great store of servant, and the Philistines envied him. Attackers. Enemies of progress may arise. In this season of harvest. But that should not distract you. That should not distract you. In the case of, of Isaac. He was a little bit distracted. Because he neglected the place of his altar. If you read verses, um, uh, verses uh, 15. He said for all the wells. Which his father's servant had digged. In the days of Abraham his father. The Philistines had stopped them. And fill them with it. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us. Did you see the attack? The king of the land told him, Leave us. You know what it means? For a man that has succeeded in a place, a man that has gathered a lot of customers, a man that has gathered a lot of a lot of uh, influence, for him to be moved 
out of his place, out of his place of enjoyment, out of his place of rest. Isaac encountered attack and the attack was to move him out of his place, was to move him, was to displace him. He has to leave everything that he has. He has to abandon the land that he has actually uh, invested so much time into. He left the land to go and have a new beginning somewhere else. And the Bible says that he moved down to Gara. And he went and pitched his tent in the valley of Gara and dwelt there. Another attack came up. His servant went and dig another well of water. His servant went to open up the old wells that even his own his, his father did in his own days. The Philistines arose again and stopped them. They arose again and stopped them. This time around, they strove with him. They took away the wells from him. What is the target? To see to it that he does not produce fruits anymore. You see, that is why when you have a major breakthrough, it is not actually a time of rest. It is a time for warfare. Whenever you have a major breakthrough, it is not time for rest. It is time for to, to, to fire more in the spirit. It is a time to wage more extra war. I've seen a kind of believers uh, that today they are hot, tomorrow they are cold because they thought they have gotten what they got, what they have prayed for from God. Beloved, if it is prayer that you use in getting that answer, you must understand that, that for that answer to be sustained, you must be prayerful. You must be prayerful. Isaac, all this while, uh, never asked questions. He did not ask questions. He did not make research. To know why his father never suffered strife as he was, he was suffering. He never asked questions to know why his father never went through um, seasons of being moved out of the land of the Philistines. But the Bible said, in the course of his journey, trying to get a place of rest, he went back to the altar of his father. The altar that spoke for the father. That was the first account of we hearing that Isaac raised an altar unto God. And he offered a sacrifice at the altar. Isaac began to have a personal life, a personal encounter with God. And from that time forth, no man troubled him. No woman troubled him. We did not hear again that his servant did the well and the people of the land strove over it. In fact, what we had later was that the king of Gera, people that pushed him out, came to make an agreement with him. That's what we had. That's what we had. If you read verses 22 to 25, in verse 25 it says, And he built an altar there. And Isaac built an altar there and called upon the name of the Lord. And there he pitched his tent. And there Isaac's servant digged a well. That was when they got to the Rehoboth. Beloved, God says is our season of harvest. But we must understand. That right there in the right there in your table of blessing, there is enemies. There is enemies. There is enemies surrounding you. There are enemies that doesn't want you to harvest that miracle. There are enemies that doesn't want you to harvest that testimony. There are enemies. So you don't give them to the devil. Let your altar be constantly on fire. Let your prayer life never go down. Let your sacrifice sacrifice. Never, never let the, the sacrifice in your altar never cease to be released. Hallelujah. That's what God is trying to tell us today. So beloved, this morning, I'll be leading us in prayers. Just few prayers, I am off your way. And the number one in the list of this prayer is this. Lord, I believe 
your word from the mouth of your servant today. You said it is my week of harvest. You said the harvest is plenty. Ah, but the laborers are few. Lord, I refuse to miss my harvest. Therefore, on this mountain this morning, and do me with a spiritual power, and do me, Lord, with an energetic power. Oh, Jehovah, strengthen me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. So go into this week right now and begin to lambano and begin to harvest my, my harvest and begin to take delivery of my financial harvest, of my career harvest, of my business harvest. My father, my maker, as I've come to your present this moment, let my harvest for this week never pass me by. I enter into my labor field this week. I refuse to be lazy. I refuse to procrastinate. I refuse to be sluggard. Lord, in this week of harvest, I step into the pool. I step into my harvest field and I begin to harvest by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, give me the grace to go in there without failing uh, and to begin to harvest uh, my miracle money, uh, my blessings, uh, my customers, uh, my abundance, uh, my divine connections, uh, my legato shatter, uh, my legal bagabosa. Lord, release of me the grace, uh, every grace I need, uh, every enablement I need, uh, every strength I need. Uh, right now before your altar, I come to ask for the release of it. Uh, Lord, release it unto me now. Release it unto my husband. That power, that spiritual energy, that push that we need for us to go in there and to begin to bring forth result and to begin to harvest our blessings, our career blessings, our ministry blessings, our business blessings. Father, release it upon us now. Jehovah, release it upon us now. Adonai, release it upon us now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, release it upon us now. Release it upon our children. Our harvest is ripe. Our harvest is plenty. Every resources we need. Every help we need. Every recommendation we need. Every open door we need. Father, release unto all this day. Maleke Tosha. That man, that woman that needs to enter our lives for us not to miss our harvest this week. Father, gather them into our lives this week by your power, this week by your mercy, this week by your power. Lord, do it and receive the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Amen, Amen, Amen. Beloved, I pray for you. Everything I told you need this week. Every human resources. Every connection.
word in Isaiah chapter 54, verses 15 and 17. You said it that the, the door they shall gather, but because their gathering is not of you, in one way they shall gather, but in seven way they shall scatter. This our Lord, I declare, every of their gatherings, let it scatter. Every of their weapons, you said in verses 17, he said, No weapon from the fashion against us that will ever prosper. Therefore, I declare, no matter the weapons of my enemies, no matter the enchantment, no matter the incantation, no matter the divination, it shall not stand, it will not come to pass upon my life this week, upon my business this week, upon my career this week, upon my children's life, upon my husband's life. Right now, my father, every attack of the enemy to destroy our harvest, to stop our harvest, is here by a button. It's here by the sword. It shall not stand. It shall not come to pass. The wicked weapon of charm, of enchantment, of incantation, of divination is here by the sword. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. In the name of Jesus. Every of the weapons. Every of the weapons of any sort. I care not to know the weapon they are coming with. But right now I come against them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and I command all the weapons destroy by fire, destroy by fire, destroy by fire, destroy by fire, destroy by fire in the name of Jesus Christ Supreme. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, I pray for you. Ah, any demonic gang up of any sort against you and your family this week. Any demonic gang up of any sort against your harvest of blessings, against your harvest of money, against your harvest of testimony, against your harvest of sound health, against your harvest of congratulation this week. By the power of the Holy Ghost, anywhere they are gathered against you, in your working place, in your business place, in your yard, in the according orders in the marine kingdom in the court in any realm of existence this hour as your amen will thunder i command them all to scatter but for your sake let them scatter by fire let them scatter by fire let them scatter by fire because it is written in isaiah 54 verse 7 that no weapon from the fashion against you and i from the fashion against our families that will ever prosper beloved i pray for you as I pray for myself and our family, I decree every weapon of any sort that our enemies are going to rise up with this week in order to stop our harvest. That weapon right now, I accept it ablaze by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let that weapon catch fire. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, and I prophesy. The wickedness, the wicked plans, the wicked plot, the incantations, the sham, the divinations, the evil sacrifice. It will never manifest in your life. The evil weapons will not get to you. It will not get to your family. With your eyes, you will behold the downfall of the wicked. With your own eyes, you will behold the destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say, let the Lord most high cause your enemies to fall into that pit of destruction, of losses, of pains, of sorrows that have dealt for you and your household. Let your enemies fall into that pit right now and let them be utterly destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, right away, I want you to pray and say, Father, I hand over this week to you. The Bible said in, in Proverbs chapter 16, verses 9, it said, The plan of heart is of man, but it is the Lord that directs his steps. Beloved, this is a brand new week. I don't know what your plans are. I don't know what you propose to do. I don't know what you propose to achieve. But this hour, this is the time you have to tell us, say, Lord, I surrender to you. This week, Lord, take me to my place of harvest. Take me to my place of rest. 
Christ. Take me to my Rehoboth. Lord, I surrender to you this week. Lord, as I speak into the womb of this week, I ask that you, God, will order my step. Lead the way, Lord, why I follow. Give me a seeding expectation this week. Help me, Lord, to a seed expectation. Let's, oh Lord, let it be that at the end of this week, I will testify even beyond what I actually assumed, even beyond what I actually imagined, even beyond what I actually think about. Lord, this week, bless me and my family. Bless us, oh Lord, with financial testimony. Bless us, oh Lord, with ministerial testimony. Bless us, oh Lord, with open doors, doors of nations. Let it break open, oh Lord, all to us as a ministry. Lord, we decree that this week, oh Lord, our blessings are flooding in. Our harvest is flooding in. No loss of any sort. No loss of any sort. We shall not lose any member. The blessings of the Lord that make it richer and added no sorrow is our portion this week. I hope you are speaking to the womb of this week. Decree that this week is blessed. Hey, decree that you are blessed in the morning. You are blessed in the afternoon. You are blessed in the evening. You are blessed in the night. I and my family, we are blessed. Oh, 24 hours a day. The blessings of the Lord are manifest in our lives. are manifest in our ministry. It manifest in our career. It manifest in all our endeavors. No weapon from the fashion against us this week that will ever, ever prosper. And a tongue that rise up against us. Hey, whether with an evil sacrifice, with enchantment, with incantation of divination, that tongue will condemn it right now by fire. We command the owner of the tongue to be struck dead with a sword of divinity. Let the God to whom vengeance belongs to arise for me and my family this week and render judgment upon any opposer of my harvest of blessing, upon any attacker of my blessing this week, upon any enemy of my blessing this week. Let God struck them dead and let them be utterly destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ to pray. Lord, we surrender this week unto you. Let your end just work for us. Let them go ahead of us and make every crooked path straight for us to the exaltation of your name. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because we know our week is blessed. Our Monday is blessed. Our Tuesday is blessed. Our Wednesday is blessed. Our Thursday is blessed. Our Friday is blessed. Our Saturday is blessed. Our Sunday is blessed. We are returning back upon this mountain. Hey, Monday morning to testify of your goodness, of what you did for us all throughout this week. Be thou exalted, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, I pray for you. As you go into this brand new week, may the Lord go with you. May his spirit go with you. May the angels work for you. May you have this blessing so plenty that even your enemies will begin to envy you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God give you that kind of testimony that will cause men to run to you and say, indeed the Lord is with you. Can you show us how to serve your God with you? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree beloved this week you shall not fail. You shall not falter. You will not be put to shame. No weapon from the fashion against you. Against your children. Against your husband. Against your ministry. Against the work of your hands. That will ever ever prosper. Anything you lay your hands upon them this week. I command blessing to show off out of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. I ask that God will open your book of remembrance. Let men and women that has forgotten you. Let boys and girls have forgotten in you. Let them remember you for good uh, this week uh, and let them bless you. Uh, none of you will lose your life this week. Uh, you will not lose any of your loved ones. Uh, you will live and you will not die. And you will return to this mountain uh, at the end of this year, at the beginning of 2022, uh, to testify of the blessedness of God uh, in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because you have answered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. 
Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, glory be to Jesus. Child of God, I want to celebrate every one of you that were able to join us live this moment. Thank you so much for joining us live. And I'm believing God that tomorrow, everything also will be clearer as it is today to the glorification of the name of the Lord. The devil is a defeated foe. We are not giving up until Jesus comes. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So please... Um, don't forget, uh, this week, uh, um, I'll be trying my best to see if I can come live Tuesdays and Thursdays. But if I'm not live to, tomorrow being Tuesday, if I'm not live um, on uh, Thursday, uh, just know that our program still stands. Uh, Wednesday night is our Women Prayer Night. Join us on our Women Prayer Night, 10 p.m. GMT plus one, 10 p.m. WAT, that's the time, okay? That's That should be 9 p.m. Um, Ghana time, yes. Then uh, join us as well uh, on Friday night in a prophetic prayer night. Prophetic prayer night, we'll pray for two hours, two hours, Friday night. Join us in that prophetic prayer night by 10 p.m. GMT plus one, that's 10 p.m. WAT. WAT. Just join us by 10 p.m. That should be 9 p.m. Ghana time. Okay? Join us in that prayer and I'm believing God will to be loved. Your life will never remain the same. This is the end of the year. Don't, don't, don't be carried away by your hustling. I know some of you are actually hustling this season to make money. And I believe that as you're making the money, you remember my Christmas gift. Hallelujah. Don't forget my Christmas gift as you're hustling. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory be to Jesus. And um, as your husband, don't forget your children. Don't forget your, 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 your motherhood responsibility, your fatherhood responsibility, your wifehood responsibility, your husbandhood responsibility to your spouse. Don't forget it. Don't just get carried away. And as you are, you are actually um, uh, moving about, whether on... Um, you're, you're on, on, on the road, whether you're entering public transport or you're actually driving or you're flying, please try and uh, make sure you apply some safety measures. This is a season that people bring out a lot of vehicles on the streets, a lot, a lot of uh, 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 vehicles that are actually uh, not good because they want to make extra money, okay? So be careful of the kind of vehicle you're entering. Pray very well. Pray that God will not lead you into the wrong uh, transport company. That God will not lead you into the wrong uh, wrong uh, car. You will not meet um, uh, higher killers. You will not encounter people of different kind of evil motives. Are you hearing me? So pray very well. That's why you must not play with your prayer time this season. Try and always come live and pray with us here. You wouldn't know what God will do for you using those prayers. So I encourage every one of you, wake up, this is the time you have to pray like never before. Because even in that business field, people are coming in now with different kind of sham, with different kind of diabolism, occultism of different sorts. So don't create room for the devil. You need to straighten your prayer altar. Don't just lack because you want to make money. Are you hearing me? Be very careful. I don't know who has this warning, but please be very careful. And let the Lord himself preserve us as we obey this divine instruction. None of us will be victims of evil this season. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. Don't forget to share. And if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have not started following us on Facebook, follow. In case you are listening to this message on Podbean, please click the follow button and begin to follow. Begin to follow. And I have a, a, a good news for us. We are live. We are actually, we have started our Clubhouse platform. For those of you that follow us on Clubhouse, you can actually follow us on Clubhouse. Uh, follow our club on Clubhouse. When, uh, when Moms Pray International, if you're a woman, then follow our Prophetic Prayer Family on Clubhouse. Okay? That's Prophetic Prayer Family. Just check our club on Clubhouse such that Prophetic Prayer Family, our club will, will pop up for you. If you're a Clubhouse uh, user, search it out, follow us on Clubhouse, and let's see what God will do in that platform. Uh, are you hearing me? So please follow, follow, follow. And as you do so, the Lord Almighty bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. God bless you. I am still your sister, Apostle Amaka. 
to have a wonderful and a glorious, a testimony field, a blessing field, a joyful week in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Like, comments, share, and subscribe.